Kovacic has four of their five threes. The rest of the team, I believe, one for 11. Right? I mean, Jason Field talked about Lubak needing to participate defensively. Another ball body. Notches gets inside and fouled by Jalen Brown. So Brown picks up his second and Doncic to the free throw line. Jalen Brown got on the high side here and Luka Doncic trying to deny him the basketball. A good cut and the foul from Brown. They're just 5 of 11 from the free throw line. Doncic, just 2 of 5, hits that. By the way, earlier tonight, they honored one of the all-time greats, Rudy Tomjanovich, Rick Carlisle giving him the trophy. This year's Chuck Daly Lifetime Achievement Award winner. Tomjanovich, one of nine coaches in NBA history, winning back-to-back -back titles. He's the gold medal coach for the Team USA in the 2000 Olympics and one of the all-time great guys in the NBA. Congratulations, Rudy T. two to play in the third. The end of the third quarter was a big part of the Celtics win in game one. Doncic drives to Exum. Exum wide open three-pointer. Got it. Rattles it in. Dante Exum, who in the playoffs, just three of 14 from three-point range. How about the pass from Luka Doncic? He has no vision. That is feel and knowing his guy is going to stay space. That is ridiculously good. Back to 10. His last two three-pointers from Dallas just kind of keep them close right now. Celtics trying to break this one open. Porzingis to Hauser. No hesitation to Hauser. Three-pointer too strong. All the way back out to Holloway. Tatum fakes. Drives. Lost it. Picked up by Doncic. Tatum both got hit. Doncic to Gafford. Gafford blocked by Porzingis. Fakes, Hauser, corner three. And Gaffer the rebound. Excellent. DJ Washington blocked again the foul. I don't think it's on Porzingis. It's probably on Hauser. And three throws for Washington. Well, this was that first play from Kristaps Porzingis. Doris mentioned his elite rim protection. Number one in the NBA in field goal percentage allowed in the paint as the contesting defender. And that pass from Luka Doncic, that, that is a great example of court method. Just knowing where the chess pieces are at all times. With a certain two guy in front of him, no eyes on Dante Exum. Now, this, is, this is absurd. You have the elite rim protector, seven foot two with an incredibly long wingspan. And somehow that ball is delivered to Dante Exum, just absolutely incredible. And a trail defender as well. And believe me, he feels that guy. And right in the pocket, too. It was, it was a perfect pass. Washington hits the first, knocks down the second. And Dallas back with an eight. It's in game one, they were down by 29, cut it to eight. Late third, the Celtics run out a big run to end the third. Aaron Brown, double team. Holiday swings it. Tatum, way off, rebound, deflected right to Brown, finds Horford, Hauser, corner three. They're now five for 28 from three-point range, and they still lead by eight. Shot clock turned off, no fouls to give. Kyrie Irving trying to get on track. Irving down the drive, stripped and foul third. Irving had eight points in the first quarter. He has two since then and has not scored in the second half. And this will be his first free throw of the finals. Didn't shoot free throws in game one and then gets to the line now here in the third quarter of game two. Eight 
shoot 15 from the line. Well, catch more of the action off the court and get your summer started with the new movie Bad Boys, Ride or Die, now playing exclusively in movie theaters. So Kyrie Irving started this basketball game in the four, first quarter, four for five. He's won for his last eight. We've talked about the contrast between these two teams. Boston's strength all year has been their top six. Their starters, high percentage of their points, but really you've got essentially six starters because Al started about 35 games. Where, where Dallas, it's the two guys who've got to drive it, like Kyrie's got to come along. Oh, of the NBA Finals continues after this message and a word from our ABC station.